Action. You don't find craftsmanship in the, in the immaculate finish. And also... Wow. Uh, all adds up to uh, the safe and fashionable uh, working environment. Excellent. So explain what you've made here. Uh, I actually have some, some photos to uh, show a couple of the stages of it, but anyway, I, I, I took Took the upright parts of uh, two two old forty dollar uh, engine stands and altered them a bit. Spent, spent seventy five bucks on a uh, piece of quarter inch wall two by two steel tubing. That's about it. <laughs> I, I welded on a uh, one off, a little lock so. <clears throat> So the piece of tubing doesn't wander off. And it kind of explains itself. Like you, uh, you know, t take it to the angle where, where the work you want to do is at its, at its most uh, convenient. And uh, you know, as with an engine stand, it's locked. Lock it up just by jamming something in there. Great stuff. One TR4 frame suspended. Yes, indeed. And what's the plan now with it? Um, well, all, all these, all these little holes with uh, paint marker around them have to be plugged up uh, by welding. It's sort of welding little tabs here. These these holes used to hold clips for uh, for locating the, uh, the brake lines and fuel lines and stuff like that. So there's some other mysterious holes. Find out what they're, they're for sooner or later. But uh, they're going to be plugged up too. And then anyway. And this will be ro rotated around and then painted. First with epoxy primer, then with something cheap and black. And then the, the real work starts. <laughs> they won't even think about that. So I won't describe it in detail. Okay. Well, thank you for the update. And there she is, viewers. TR4 frame suspended. A good night to all, and to all a good night. Visions of uh, <laughs> welding sparks dancing in your head. <laughs> exactly. But, uh, well, there's a couple of things here. I, I, I found found a really hefty piece of angle iron somewhere and drilled holes in it. Found, found some bolts to uh, forget it. I think there's the radiator mount here. <clears throat> anyway, I bolted this angle iron uh, to the frame. Bolted. Uh, the mounting plate on the engine stand to the angle iron at what I sort of guessed was the right height for the center of gravity. That seemed to work. Then I uh, down, down at this end, I, I took, a, took a piece of the 2x2 two two steel tube. Chopped off a length, and uh, anyway, bolted it to the frame. First, I had to grind off about about, about a quarter of an inch of protruding flange. Not protruding uh, flange. Not the flange. Yes, the, the the dreaded protruding flange is about to uh, interfere with my plans. Mm. Anyway, then uh, bolted it to. Uh, convenient uh, bit of frame that was actually designed to be vertical. And bolted this massive structure to once, once more the engine mounting plate on the 
on the engine stand. Perfect. I accessed this by drilling buddy great owls in the tubing. <laughs> How clever is that, viewers? That's about it. It took, it took forever just because they was breaking new barriers in cheap ass like <laughs> technology. <laughs> uh, uh, doesn't cost very much, but it but burns up a lot of time. Absolutely. Anything else to say? Um, kind of play darts and drink beer. Maybe, maybe some cheap gin and tonics. There we go. Okay. Good night, one and all. Touchy bye. <laughs>